and welcome to another video. Yes, it has been a long time, but I am back. Over a year, I believe, since I last made my last video. But I am back after uh, my little uh, wandering around Twitch. And I have had a lot of requests for this video. And it's to how to paint the blue robes that you find on my Stormcast Eternals. So, thought I'd do a quick video and demonstrate how to do that so what i've got is a little miniature from my chariot and i've put the base coat in so this is prime black and then i've tidied everything up and it's got calador sky and then i'm using corax white just to sort of base coat in those areas so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to get some thinned down Cantor blue, just take the extra off the thing, and I'm just going to run this right in the recesses. Just to get the, the initial shadows in. Don't worry if you make a mistake, we're going to tidy that up shortly. So you're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna start building up the highlights. Okay, so now once that's dry and you've got them in, it's a little bit wet, but what you wanna do is mix in three parts Calador Sky to one part Teclas Blue. And now with this being quite thin, put a bit of water in there. You just wanna bring this highlight to the raised. Areas. This is a little bit of a an annoying cloak because it's got a lot of folds near the top. But just using your side of the brush, just pick that out. And what we're going to do? So now we're going to add a little bit more. So when I say a little bit. You're really sort of looking at about that much, so not too much. So you're coming up to almost 50 50. And again, just bringing that along the top, uppermost areas of the folds, and you should start to see those highlights start to come out. Okay. Next, using some pure techless blue, thinning it down with a little bit of medium. You want to now do the same, but this time, keeping these highlights to the center. Again, with these folds at the top, just run your brush over the top of them very lightly it's kind of like dry brushing but it can be a little bit more precise if you really want to be but we're going to be coming in with some darker glazes just to add in some shadows later on just again here just to smooth that out. Okay, you're now using some Lithorian blue. You know, again, about this much. Mix that into your Teclas blue. So it's probably like a 50 50 mix now. And then just very carefully. Start being more precise. I'm using a size one Rosewing Core Series 33. OK, 
Okay, now it's just going to smooth out some of these transitions. So you're going to get some of your previous color door uh, techless blue mix, and you're just going to thin it down slightly. And whereas the top of these folds here, you're just going to gently just bring that mix to the top. It's just this will just smooth out the transition of colors. And create that little bit of a blend on those larger folds. Add in some more your Thorian blue to your 50 50 mix. What we'll be able to do is just push that in, and just let that feather that out a little bit. Just concentrate on the edges. Just to push those highlights up. And again on the top of these smaller folds, using the, the tip of the brush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of that thinned Cantor Blue and very carefully I'm just going to run it into these deeper folds. Just to tidy that up a little bit. Okay, so once those are dry, what you want to do is just get some pure Lothorian blue and thin that right down. And then to the more highest points, so the edge here, this is almost like a glaze. You just want to start bringing that onto the highest, most prominent points of the cloth. it's really thin it does dry quite quickly so you're able to come back in with another pass like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of offline grey and mix that into the Florian blue so it's about a 50 50 mix now if you think this is too bright just add a little bit of the Florian blue back into it and very carefully you just want to Put this in at the, the most prominent tops of the folds. And if you start getting that little sort of tea stain, because white paint can be quite annoying, especially white pigment. And just go back over that. Get those folds in now for the shadows we're going to strengthen it with rhinox hide now, i know some of you might be thinking why would you be putting rhinox hide into this the brown has a nice as you can see a nice ready tint to it and this will contrast well with the blue so very carefully start applying the glaze pulling the brush down into where you want the pigment to stop so you want to pull the brush so for this area here you want to pull the brush like this keeping that pigment in the center don't worry if you make a mistake on the white i haven't done the white yet
straight away you'll start seeing that contrast develop between the lighter blues and the brown and the more glaze you add to the deeper areas the more it is and that's basically how I do my blue cloth on characters I spend a lot longer time making sure that the blends are a lot tighter but that's it that's how I do the uh, the blue cloth so obviously very quick and very very easy so if you like my content please um, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell it really does help channels the YouTube algorithm really loves that stuff. And you can also catch me when I live stream on a Sunday afternoon from 12 till 3 with Sunday Lunch with Pointy. And you can also catch me on a Tuesday night from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock British Standard Time, where I will generally chat about the hobby and the hobby news and do some hobby projects and paint along. I am currently working on my Slaves to Darkness army, so it's pretty cool. So you can also... Um, you can also help me by uh, heading over to the Patreon. You don't have to. There is nothing behind a paywall, and I don't and try to put anything behind a paywall. But if you want to be help, you want to help, then that'll be really, really cool as well. And also spread the word on social media that I'm now making content would be awesome. I do have a Discord channel. I'll be putting the Discord channel down into um the description and if you want to head over you can do so thanks very much for taking your time to watch the video i hope to see you in the next one goodbye